Now in this section, we'll talk about extended ACLs. If you just get back to the basics, what we have discussed in the previous sessions, we have seen some standard ACL, which ranges in between one to 99 and using standard ACL, we can allow or deny a specific host network or any subnet. But whereas in case of extended ACL, we can allow or deny a specific service. Now we can define a specific services in the ACLs like HTTP, FTP traffic. We can allow or deny a specific traffic and the filtering can be done based on the source IP, destination IP, protocol and the port number. Like extended ACLs is going to support some of the advanced filtering options which standard ACL do not provide. And apart from that, we can also allow or deny a specific service between any two different hosts or, or, or between any any to any communications. So let's get into more in detail on this. Like extended ACLs, I got I got a sample scenario here where we'll be verifying the extended ACLs with some rules. Now let's take an example. These are the rules which are given by my manager, and I'm supposed to ensure that. Uh, these whatever the whatever the things the manager says to deny i want to ensure that this communication should not happen like let me give some idea i'm going to use the same topology of three routers which i used in my in my previous labs so i'm going to assume that there is one server here 1.3 there is a 1.3 is my http server i'm going to assume that and 1.4 is my ftp server and also i'm going to make this 1.4 as dns servers so I'm going to deny some specific services. Now I want to ensure that the two door network should not access 1.3 HTTP service, whereas he can access all the remaining services. Similar way, a three door network should not access 1.4 FTP service, and 3.1 should not access 1.3 HTTP service, and the two door network should not get any DNS service from 1.4, but the other people can get. And similar way, we are going to stop some of the ping messages as well. Now in the rules here, you can see, I have just tried to put some different different types of rules which matches uh, HTTP traffic, FTP traffic, DNS, as well as ICMP traffic. And apart from that, whatever the things I have, I have listed in the denied, that should be denied and all the remaining host and the services should be permitted. Now we need, also need to ensure that the above ACL should not affect any other communications. Now let, let's get into the command line. If you just go to the command line and verify the syntax, the syntax is slightly different. Now let, let's go to the command line here. I got a router one, a router two. Now before we go ahead and implement this ACL, the first point we need to keep in mind is we need to decide on which router to implement. So that's the first thing we need to decide whether we need to implement on the router one, on the router two or router three. Now the second thing is we need to decide the direction, decide the source and the destinations. And then finally, when we are applying it, we need to decide the direction. Now that can be decided based on, based on the source here. Like if you just take a common part here, there is 192, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Uh, like the people who are trying to access, they all are on one dot network. So which means your server, HTTP server, FTP server, again DNS server, or maybe ICMP messages. I want to ensure that this two door network and three door network should not be able to access these servers on the on the router one LAN. So which means all the traffic has to go via router one in order to reach those specific servers. So what I can do, I can configure an ACL on the router one, which will ensure that the traffic has to go from that particular router. Okay, so that's something what we will see first. Now in my scenario, if you just try to figure out all the all the specific services on router one LAN here. So, so we are going to implement on the router one. So all the transit traffic, or all the traffic, whatever you want to deny, it should be via that particular router. Now the second thing we need to uh, decide the source and the direct, source and destination. Now in my scenario, either I can take this particular uh, part as a source or wherever I'm implementing nearest to that particular router as a destination, this particular part, whatever the 1.4 part, this as a destination, or you can take it reverse. Now, if you remember in case of my standard ACL, I have, I have taken wherever I implement the nearest to that particular as a destination, this one, and the traffic coming to my network is referred as a source. Now we can either go with the same kind of rule or we can make it reverse as well because in case of extended ACL, we are going to define the source as well as destination. So the filtering happens based on the source and the destination whereas in case of 
standard ACL we use only the source so that's the reason we can go with any one of these options now in my scenario I'm going to take the same condition as I did in the standard ACL where the nearest where I implement as a destination and then the packets coming to towards my side as a source so in my scenario I'm going to consider this particular as my source who are trying to access the services or the servers will be referred as my destination now these are the two important things we need to keep in mind uh, before we go ahead and try to configure the rules now the next thing we, we are going to router 1 and on the router 1 we are going to apply these rules now let us go with the first tool the first tool here you can see the we need to ensure that the 2 dot network should not access 1.3 HTTP service so to make that possible the first we need to go to config mode and then we need to say access list now if you are using standard ACL we need to define the number in between 1 to 99 but in this scenario we are not using the standard ACL we need to use extended ACLs so probably I'm going to use 2125 something it can be any any number in between 100 to 199 now the next thing we need to define whether you want to deny a permit now as per the rules here we need to first deny the statements so I'm going to deny and then the next option you can see if you use question mark you'll find some different options now these options are actually asking you the protocol which protocol you want to deny now the protocol is something like when when we define the protocols here now there are major different categories of the protocols like the main category is IP protocol IP means all the protocols comes under the category of IP and these protocols are further classified into three different categories we got TCP category and the UDP and then ICMP categories and there are some specific services like HTTP, Telnet, FTP, SMTP this all comes under the category of TCP now if you want to allow or deny a specific service let's say I want to allow or deny the HTTP traffic then we need to define the category of the protocol as TCP now if you want to allow or deny a specific service based on uh, any any kind of like DNS, DHCP or TFTP, NNTP, SNMP these all will come under the category of UDP category so depending upon the type of the service let's say I want to deny the DNS service I need to define the category of the protocol as UDP and if you if you want to stop any ping messages or or trace messages we need to define the category of the protocol is ICMP so ICMP is is the protocol which will allow you to uh, the get the control messages like destination host unreachable or the reply messages so these all control messages are, are are generated by the ICMP protocol so if you want to stop any ping messages probably you need to define the protocol category as ICMP now this is something the default list now you can also verify the same let's say if I give TCP now depending upon the option like depending upon the type of the service we need to decide the category of the protocol like if you're using HTTP and FTP HTTP this all comes under TCP category and if you are defining DNS service it has to be under the category of UDP and then if you're using ICMP messages now if you want to stop the ping and trace messages probably we define on the category of ICMP and all the remaining remaining will be coming under the category of IP IP means again all the three comes under this now either you need to uh, you need to know these options or if you go to the command line probably you will find these options here like let me try TCP right now I'm just going with any source and any destination just for checking out now here you can see it's going to ask you the TCP if I say deny from any source to any destination or uh, let, let me just come down to the service uh, before we go ahead let's go to the command line here now now here what I'm going to do is uh, I'll come to these options more in detail when but the categories again more in detail once we are done with the source and destinations now if you check the command line now I'm going to say deny now here in my scenario HTTP comes under the category of TCP so I'm going to define the TCP category and it's going to ask you the source address now the source address will be 2.0 in my scenario here so it's going to be the complete network so I'm going to define the wildcard mask of 00025 and then the destination will be 192.168.1.3 mm -hmm. 
Now the next thing is we need to verify. Next, if you use question mark, it's going to ask you the operator here. I have to define the operator. Now operator is is simple like you know you know the symbols in the mathematical calculations we use equal to, not equal to, greater than or less than something like this. Now instead of using these symbols, we are going to define that this as equal to and this as not equal to and then greater than and less than. Now if you want to deny any specific service which is equal to runs on port number 80, we give EQ80 or we can say EQ HTTP. So in fact, we use EQ www or EQ FTP like that. So which means I'm saying that if any traffic is coming from so and so source and then going for so and so destination, if it is equal to FTP, then simply deny it. Now here the operator is going to define the condition what to match a specific service. Now if I'm going to define that from, from specific source to specific destination, if I say not equal to 80 and deny, it's going to deny all the services which are other than 80. So it's something opposite meaning. Or even I can define some rules where I can say that uh, I want to deny all the services running in between the port number greater than 1000 or less than 2000. And it's going to deny all the services running between the two different source and destinations. Uh, whatever the port number is running in between 1000 to 2000 will be automatically denied. So that's something what operator is going to tell here. So we need to define the operator. That's what it is asking whether you want to use equal to or less than greater than or not equal to. Now in most of the scenarios either I use equal to or not equal to. So I'm going to say equal to. Now you can see when I say equal to here, you'll find the options. These are the protocols which comes under the category of TCP because I have defined the option here TCP. Now if I just change this option to UDP, Let's let me change this option to UDP here. Let me let me try UDP. And if I use again equal to question mark, and you'll find it is going to list all the protocols which comes under the category of UDP. Now, depending upon the option or the protocol you're selecting here, you will be listed the services which comes under that category. Now, normally it's really not uh, even if you don't remember in some cases, let's say you are not sure with that particular DNS service comes under uh, TCP or UDP, then you can always go with a question mark. Now you can see DNS is listed in the UDP category, but not listed in the FTP category. Now similar way, if I try with some other protocol, let's say if I give ICMP, instead of giving this one, now again, if you use question mark here, in ICMP, you will see all the different kinds of control messages which are generated by ICMP protocol. Now, apart from that, you can try some other options. Let's say if I give IP, IP means all the remaining protocols. Now, if I use question mark here, you don't find any options because IP means all the remaining protocols. So you don't find these options. Now, in my scenario, I'm going to I'm going with TCP here. So if I go in and if I use question mark equal to, it's going to list my F uh, port of protocols which are relating to TCP. Now the first scenario here is HTTP service. Now the HTTP service will be referred as www or you can write the port number 80. So we can simply write www. A similar way I'm going to write another statement, the second statement where I want to deny the 3 dot network from accessing 1.4 FTP service. Now again FTP also comes under the category of TCP. So I'm going to say that any traffic is coming from 3 dot network and if it is supposed to go for 192.168.1.4 .1 and if it is equal to FTP deny. In similar way I can write the third rule. Now the third rule again you can see 3.1 should not access 1.3 F HTTP service. HTTP is also again the category of TCP again. So I'm going to say access list 125 and then I'm going to say deny TCP. And if you're writing a single host, we can simply write as 192.168.3.1. And then we can write host 192.168.1.3 and then equal to equal to 80. So either we can write a name of the service or we can simply write the port numbers. You can always use question mark to find the exact port numbers or the exact name of the services. Now let's go with the fourth rule. Now in the fourth rule, I want to deny the 2.0 network should not get DNS service from 1.4. Let's 
let's let's write down that as well so i want to say access list 125 deny so dns comes under the category of udp so i need to define it as udp and then i'm going to say that the two door network is the source so i'm going to say 192 168 two door network and then from accessing a two door network from dns service from 1.4 so my destination is 192.168.1.4 and the operator is equal to if i use question mark you can find domain that is domain name service i need to either write a name called domain or we can write just 53. now we we are done with the fourth rule as well now let's let's try to write one more rule that is fifth one deny the users from the host 3.2 accessing uh, 1.2 they should not be able to send the ping messages or trace messages 3.2 to 1.2 so access list 125 deny so this control messages comes under the category of icmp so we need to say icmp and the source address is 3.2 to 1.2 so i'm going to say host 192.168.3.2 and then 192.168.1.2 and we, we don't use any equal message equal to messages when we when it comes to icmp here we need to we need to stop these two messages echo message echo message is for sending a ping and echo reply is for replying and then finally we need to say permit ip any any so permit ip any any ensure that all the remaining traffic whatever we define apart from that should be permitted so if you verify show access list now you can see these are the rules what I define on my router. So once we are done with these rules, now the next step is implementation. Now we need to go to the interface and we need to implement and verify this particular ACLs. So probably that is something we'll, we'll see in the next video. In the next video, we'll, we'll see the continuation of this, where we will see, uh, we'll implement the ACL and then we'll verify with some specific show command and will generate some kind of traffic with some services.